What's up everybody, it's me the Home Cook Hero back with another video for y'all. Y'all, I had a taste for some mashed potatoes and I didn't just want any regular old gravy. So y'all, I decided to make this creamy Cajun seafood sauce slash gravy. <laughs> y'all, it had shrimp, andouille sausage, some crawfish up in there, all over these creamy Parmesan mashed potatoes. Y'all, this dish was really one of the best things I've made in a while. So y'all, if you're into it, stick around. Alright y'all, so first I am starting off with about four to five potatoes and I'm just using a vegetable peeler to get all the peeled off basically. I didn't do this for all of the potatoes actually, I I only did it for a couple of them because I kind of want that rustic feel and I don't really mind the potato skins in there honestly, I really really don't. So yeah, I just chopped up all the potatoes and then after that I just placed them in a bowl. So now that the potatoes are all nice and diced up, some of the skin still on as you see, I placed them in my pot and then I just put enough water in there to cover the potatoes up. I also added in about four to five garlic cloves just to infuse the water and the potatoes with garlic flavor. And then when you mash the potatoes up, the garlic is gonna get all mashed up in there too. I'm telling y'all it's perfect. Then I also added in a little bit of salt because you wanna kinda like season the potatoes at this point. They will definitely soak up all of that salt. And then y'all, I just let it come to a boil. And once it did that, I just made sure it was nice and pork tender. Then I drained out all the water. And now going in with some butter, going in with some sour cream. And then I'm even going in y'all with some heavy whipping cream y'all. And the whipping cream is really gonna give it a nice silky, kind of like real, real silky. I think that's the best way to describe it. Real silky texture. Uh, the sour cream is going to give it some more body and make it a little bit fuller. I'm just, I'm, I'm just going in y'all. <laughs> and I also added in some Parmesan cheese. I went real heavy with the Parmesan cheese. Y'all know I love cheese in my stuff and my mashed potatoes. Well, I mean a lot of stuff I make. I love Parmesan cheese in it y'all. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going in with a whole lot of Parmesan cheese because I want these mashed potatoes to be extra Parmesan-y. Alright y'all, so after I was done mashing up the potatoes, I just put the top back on and set it to the side. So potatoes are done. Now for the Cajun seafood cream sauce slash gravy, I used about two links of andouille sausage and I just kind of like rough chopped it up. You can slice it however you want to. I don't really want big chunks in the, in the finished product, so I kind of sliced them a little bit smaller. Then I let the sausage cook for three to four minutes just to kind of render out some of that fat and develop the flavor a little bit more but the andouille sausage is already cooked so this part is not necessary if you don't want to then in the same pan with the sausage i'm adding in the raw shrimp that's about a half a pound of shrimp and i cleaned it made sure it was dry and then i just seasoned it with a little bit of cajun seasoning i don't really go too heavy with the cajun seasoning here because we're going to be adding a whole lot of flavor all throughout the cooking so it's not really wasn't really necessary to me then after that y'all i just let it cook on that side for one minute or so uh, then i just flipped it over to let it cook on the other side for about another minute one important note is that the shrimp will cook completely in the sauce and i just wanted to kind of give them a little bit of a head start and also kind of like put a little sear on the outside of it again if you don't want to do this step you really don't have to i just i just really like to develop my flavors every step of the way so y'all after that i took out the shrimp and the sausage and just set it off to the side and i'm just showing you the crawfish i use i use about half of that bag so check the description box like i always say and you'll see however much i used now y'all to that same pan with all of that the dripping still in there from the shrimp and from the sausage i'm adding in a little bit more butter and i'm also adding in some flour now the flour is going to be thickener here it's going to thicken up the sauce and yeah i'm just putting that in there cooking everything together so the flour can get nice and incorporated get all them little clumps and then after that i'm going to add in some other stuff <laughs> So I'm adding in some fresh minced garlic and I'm also adding in this Better Than Bouillon lobster base. Autofocus, I know. <laughs> Y'all, this camera does not have autofocus and it really it really just gets me every single time when, I, when I'm when i looking at these videos. But y'all, you know, work with me. I'm a, 
I'm gonna get there. I'm gonna get there. So yeah, I added in a little bit of that, uh, a little bit of that lobster base, y'all. That stuff hits every single time. It really deepens any stock or sauce that you're making. I promise y'all, you will not regret it. Go pick up some of that better than bouillon. So after that, I am just kind of sauteing everything together to make sure all of the flavors start to marry, and I just let it toast in there for a second. And I'm also adding in a bay leaf for just a little flavor and i'm also adding in some smoked paprika the paprika honestly was really just for color i wanted this to be kind of like an orangey color to really make it feel more like a cajun cream seafood sauce kind of thing so yeah that part is optional as well well actually no no it's not <laughs> it's necessary you need that in there then y'all finally we get in there i'm adding in some heavy cream to really get this seafood sauce coming to life i also added in uh some tarragon tarragon goes great with seafood and i really wanted to give it a different note a different kind of note in here so y'all it's been a couple minutes and you see that the sauce is starting to thicken up a lot more and so I am adding in the shrimp and I'm also adding in the sausage. And I wanna, like I said earlier, I wanna make sure that I'm cooking the shrimp all the way through. So you wanna make sure you leave it on the, leave it on the stove for at least another three to four minutes just to make sure the shrimp are uh, nice and cooked through. But that leaves plenty of time for us because we also have some other stuff to add to this sauce as well, y'all. First, I'm adding in some more parm. Y'all know I love Parmesan cheese. And I'm also adding in some crawfish. The crawfish that I showed y'all earlier, I'm adding it in now. And y'all, the crawfish is already cooked. All right, the crawfish is already cooked. You don't even really need to season it because it has its own kind of flavor already. And yeah, just put that in there at the last couple of minutes because you don't want to make that, uh, you don't want to make that tough at all. It's just like shrimp. And those are smaller too. So yeah, that stuff would be real rubbery and you don't want any of that. So yeah, y'all, I'm just mixing everything up, making sure it's all combined. And y'all, this seafood cream cajun -y sauce, whatever you want to call it, is done. Now I am just plating everything up. Y'all know I always love to show y'all when I'm plating my stuff up. So I'm just adding in the creamy Parmesan mashed potatoes, trying to get a nice well in the middle so that seafood cream sauce, gravy, cajun -y, whatever, whatever it's called, can rest on there nice and easy. And yeah, y'all, this seafood sauce looks so daggone good, y'all. This stuff looks so good. Y'all, I don't even I, I don't even know what to say, y'all. It looks so good. These mashed potatoes were really hitting, y'all. They were the best mashed potatoes I've ever made. This gravy really just amps everything up. So, y'all, that is all I have for y'all today. If you enjoyed the video, you can leave a comment down below to let me know. If you like the video, you can hit that like button as well. And you can even subscribe to the channel, y'all. And you'll be notified whenever I upload new videos, which is weekly. <laughs> so, yeah, y'all. That's all I had. And I will see y'all in the next video.